Anthony Albanese says if the voice gets up, he wants a meeting with the opposition, in fact a joint party meeting. Now they don't come along all the time, they're pretty rare. A joint party meeting where both sides of the house come together with all of the independents to determine, this is what he wants to do, he wants this joint party meeting to determine how the voice will work, how it will happen. Now think about, <laughs> think about that ladies and gentlemen. He is asking us to vote for something that he is going to decide upon much later. He has no idea. He's, he wants us to vote on something that he has no idea about. A meeting with the opposition and other members of parliament to determine how this is going to look. It's a bit late. He's making this up as he goes. But you know, that's not the crime. The real crime is that number one, he might get away with it, but number two, he thinks he will get away with it. He is admitting that he's asking people to vote for something that is simply a pie in the sky. Oh, don't worry, don't worry about it. Oh, we'll fill in the details later and because it's a joint party, joint house sitting, it'll be fine, it'll be fair, it'll be good. I think this is quite, in political terms, unbelievable and unprecedented. And if, having known this from his own mouth, the Prime Minister's own mouth, if having heard that, and I'm sure you did because it was everywhere, if you can still vote yes, God, I, 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 I despair. I know Albo wants this nonsense as his legacy. But what he will be remembered for will be that he was the Prime Minister who in two years, for the first time in the history of this country, managed to divide this great nation. Nothing 